Hey everyone, Blau here at Cove here, and today we're going to go over how to set up OBS and how to use alerts within OBS without Streamlabs, Stream Elements, anything else like that. Let's get started. So going over to Lumia Stream, we're going to go to Connections, Add New Connection, and then type in OBS. We'll select OBS Studio and press Connect. Now, here's the important part. You have to have OBS WebSockets installed. You can't just have OBS installed. So I'm going to go over to my web browser and put in OBS WebSockets inside Google. I'm going to go to Remote Control, OBS Studio, and go to Download. So down here, I'm going to scroll down to where it says Assets, and I'm going to go to OBS WebSockets Windows Installer.exe. Make sure you're up to date. I'm using 4.9.1 for this video. I'm going to press Open File, and I'm going to install OBS WebSockets. So after you install it, it will open up OBS and it says it looks like you're running OBS WebSockets for the first time. Do you want to configure a password now for the WebSocket server? Uh, we're actually not going to set up a password for this tutorial, but you could if you want. I'm going to make sure my port is on 444 and I'm going to press OK. So now if I go back over to Lumia Stream, I'll make sure my port is correct and I'll make sure my host IP is correct. If I'm using it on my local computer, just keep this default. Uh, if I'm using a password, I'm going to put it in here, but I'm going to press connect. And if everything goes through, it will connect. If you go to dashboard, OBS studio will show up. Cool. First step done. Okay. So next step is we're going to set up a few different scenes in OBS, and I'm going to always have this open with Lumia right here, just to make things easier. So I'm going to create like three different scenes, scene two and scene three. My first scene is just going to show our web browser. I'm going to show a source. I'm going to call this uh, Lumia website. And that's just going to have LumiaStream.com in it. Our second scene is just going to show a text. Two text. Wow, this is a test. And then scene three is just going to have a video that's going to be looping. So now we have our three scenes set up. We have our loop intro, our text and our Lumia website. So now we're just going to have a chat command that changes the different scenes. I'm going to set up a command, go to add command, and I'm just going to call this scene two. I'm going to do nothing in this command. I don't want my light to change. So I'm going to do no light change and now I'm going to go to the OBS tab. I'm going to use the type as scene set. I'm going to choose my scene. And as you see, I just created those scenes, so it's not showing up in Lumia immediately. So I'm going to just press refresh OBS settings. And now all my three scenes should show up. So I'm going to do scene two and we can test it out here. That's working. Perfect. Add OBS, press apply. I'm going to switch back to scene one manually. And I'm going to go to shortcuts and just put scene two. Perfect. So now let's say we have one scene, but we have multiple sources inside of it. So I'm going to create another scene called scene four, and we're going to kind of just duplicate those sources that we used before. So boom, we have website, scene two text, loop intro. And now I just want to make sure all of these are invisible. So now I'm going to trigger a source within OBS. So I'm going to create another command called source website. I'm going to also do a no light change again, but if you want to do a light change, that's fine as well. I'm going to go back to OBS. I'm going to choose my type and I'm going to use source. I'm going to use source visibility set and I'm going to choose my scene. Now I just made scene four. So remember refresh OBS settings scene four, and now the source that I'm going to want to do is Lumia website, and I'm going to want to make sure visibility is on. Now, the important part is that after the command is done, I also want to make that invisible again so I could trigger it in the future. So I'm going to press end. I'm going to do source visibility set scene four, and then choose Lumia website, but I'm going to turn visibility off this time Add OBS and now I have a start, which is going to turn on the source. And I'm going to have an end, which turns it off. So if I press apply, refresh, control center, exclamation point, source, website, 
and you see it turned it on and this command lasts for four seconds so it should turn it off right there perfect now this is super powerful because now you can create your own you know streamlabs or stream elements alerts directly within lumia so i have this loop intro which is just a video right but let's say we wanted to create a different video that was more like an alert. So I'm going to choose an uh, alert that I already have set up. I'm going to call this alert video. I'm going to go to triangle synth wave. And you see it shows up as a triangle right there. But now I'm going to bring back my scene to text. So I'm going to want my, you know, I'm going to want this in like the top right corner. And I'm going to put like my text in the triangle and I'm just going to say new follower. I'm going to press OK. And now anytime we get a new follower, we're just going to pop up this source uh, as well as the text. So by default, I'm going to have this invisible. And now if I go to an alert and I go to Twitch follower, I'm going to go to advance manage OBS. Well, let's refresh settings first. I'm going to go to source visibility set. I'm going to choose my scene for and then I'm going to go to alert video and make sure that turns on at OBS. But now we want a small delay before the text turns on. Right. So you have a delay. Let's say we wait, you know, one second's fine. Uh, and now we're going to have another source visibility set. But this time we are going to source the scene to text and we're going to turn that on. And now in the end, we just want to turn off the video and turn off the text. So we'll go to the end tab. And then we'll do source visibility set scene for alert video and turn visibility off. Same thing for the text. And now if we press refresh, we'll try it out, press test. And now it says new follower. As soon as you get a follower alert, it'll wait four seconds for this duration and then everything turned off again. So that's as simple as it can get. Uh, now we can get a little more advanced instead of saying new follower, we can say who actually followed. So I'm going to go back to manage OBS again. And one more thing we're going to do is we are actually going to set what that text value is. So we have a source text set. You see that right here? Source text set. And we can choose our source, which is just scene to text. Ignore source type. This is actually going to be removed in the next version. Uh, because this is not required anymore since you can't use the same source name as another one. And then for the text, I'm going to say who followed. So the username of the sender, I'm going to press username right there and I'm going to choose add OBS. So let me move this up because we want to change the text before the text is actually rendered. So if I press done, we should see test show up since I'm just doing a test follow. I'll go to test. And it says test. See that right there. So I'm going to go to follow. And now you see Lumia stream showed up. So that's a little more advanced. But obviously, as you've seen, that wasn't that advanced. We could even, you know, have saying new follower. We can edit this and just say new follower from username. Save that. Let's just test it out just to make sure. Press done. Refresh and then test this out. So it should say new follower from test. So as you've seen, we just did this within a command as well as within an alert. So anything that you see here could be done in both. So you can either, you know, start recording. You can set your source. You can set a scene. You can send raw OBS JSON data in case there's something we don't necessarily support. You can do this right here. We even give you an example of setting a live image. Uh, so let's say you wanted to set a thumbnail from a user who just, you know, chatted. You could change your thumbnail dynamically. You can mute a source, unmute it. You can set a URL for our browser. So I can go to that source that I had for Lumia website, ignore source type. And for the URL, let's say we wanted to change it to google.com. And now if I turn back on Lumia website and press test action, it'll go to google.com instead. You could even set up your source settings. So, you know, if there's different options that you want to choose from for that source, you could do that. You can toggle studio mode off and on. You could even, you know, change your transition. Uh, you get the idea. You'll see all the options that you can choose from. But the most powerful are source set, a source visibility set, scene set, source text set, and maybe source URL set in case you want to change, you know, 
the URL. Now you can combine these with, you know, automations. You can combine these with chat commands, Twitch points, Twitch extensions, all of the different alerts we have. Uh, you could even combine it with, you know, Twitter alerts or something like that. Just pop up the latest tweet. You get the idea. We even have a way of, you know, combining this with Spotify, which we made a whole tutorial for that we'll link to down below where it triggers your latest Spotify song that's playing and show it in OBS. So that's all we have for today. There's a lot more to go over and a lot more things you can do with OBS, but this should hopefully get your mind flowing and get the energies going. So we hope you all have a luminous day. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.